Hello, I'm the Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do another um, full flip through book review. This month I'm going to be going through some of the great reference books that I have on hand. And the one we're starting with today is Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs by Scott Cunningham. And the version I have is the expanded and revised version. Um, the back has a couple bits of praise and it looks like a little snippet about the book. Pretty common. Let's go ahead and just go right on into it. This is an excellent book if you are into green witchcraft or have any other type of practice where you are starting to want to use herbs more in your spell work or your rituals. Um, anything like that. So we have a front page here, cultivate your magical knowledge. A little bit about the author, which I always like to read. So I'll go ahead and read that. Scott Cunningham practiced elemental magic for over 20 years. He was the author of more than 30 books, both fiction and nonfiction. The majority of them published by Llewellyn Publications. Scott's first Scott's books reflect a broad range of interests within the New Age sphere, where he was highly regarded. He passed away from this life on March, 8, March 28, 1993, after a long illness. And it looks like we have the publisher here is Llewellyn, the title page. This version is the 13th printing in 2019, and it looks like the original copyright for this was in 1985. Dedicated to mom and dad. We have a list here of other books by Cunningham, so I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of that. And the contents as well, which I usually like to read, has an acknowledgement, a preface, Part one, the basics. Chapter one, the power of herbs. Chapter two, magical ways. Chapter three, spells and procedures. Chapter four, magical intentions. Part two, the herbs. Health codes used with the herbs. Part three is tables and appendices. Gender, plant rulers elemental rulers, magical intentions, colors and their magical uses, glossary, mail order suppliers, the magical properties of oils, folk names cross-reference, annotated bibliography, and an index. And then we have an acknowledgments and a preface that looks like it's two pages long. And then it goes right into the basics. So this book does have a lot of really good information, general information in front about herbs and using them in your practice and using them in spells, um, magical intention. And then it goes into the herbs, how to read the entries, and then it goes right into it. And this is mostly what I use this book for is as a reference tool for herb correspondence. I'll give you a close-up of a few of them. We'll just flip through, but that's pretty much what the majority of the book is. It gives folk names, gender, planet, elements, powers, magical uses. Um, I know sometimes in here there are um, folk uses and stuff as well. I'll just give you a few more. And then with that, it flips on through. The back also is very nice. It has the tables and appendices. Apologize for the noise. My neighbor's driving by. Um, masculine herbs gives you the gender. And feminine herbs, planetary rulers. Um, the herbs by each planetary ruler. Uh, the herbs by each element, and so forth. Um, and then we've got a big section in here by intention. So depending on what you're wanting to work 
with the herb for. Um, magical properties of specifically the oils, which is nice. So the oil versus the actual herb itself. And it also gives you a um, folk names cross-reference, which is spectacular. I love that. And um, I think all of this is the folk names. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see what else. And an annotated bibliography. We've got some books going back to the 1970s, 1967, um, 1900s mostly, 1958. Looks like there's a good amount of uh, information here, a lot of further reading that can be done. Okay, nothing unique there. And then there's also, in addition, an index, which just lists literally out the names of the herbs and what page numbers they're on. And they printed it a little bit smaller so it really fits literally onto these two pages, which is nice. Um, and there you have it. That is the uh, Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. It's pretty much a staple. I see this one everywhere. Um, it's really hard to find a book that's got this much information. I do have some others that hopefully I'll share on here with you, but this one's definitely my go-to, my first go-to. And with that, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time.